really glad you decided to bring Meg on this camping trip, Peter. It's gonna be great. Because we're because in Because we're in the great outdoors. <sighs> you don't get air like this back in Quahog, do you, Pete? Uh, I don't know. Some places, probably. hoo -ah! Gosh, being in nature gives me such great energy. Hey, Courtney, you ever see a yellow-headed warbler? That's the only warbler I haven't seen. Not for long, it's not. Don't answer that. We're eating. They're probably eating. Okay, we're gonna have a fun camp competition. And the first event, worth five points, is a race down to the lake right now! Last one there is a stinky poo-poo egg. Come on, Dad! What Meg didn't know, what none of them knew, is that I already was a stinky poo-poo egg. Boy, you don't get stars like this back in Quahog, do you, Pete? Stop calling me Pete. I know what'll cheer you up. Skits! Skits, 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 skits! Well, isn't this a perfect bench for a sit? Say, Dad, what are you doing? Oh, just sitting on the invisible bench, reading about those North Korea jokesters. But, Dad, they moved the invisible bench last week. <laughs> it's over there now. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the invisible bench skip. Peter, you're up. Okay, here's one. I call it the invisible noose. First, I throw a rope over this tree limb, put the noose around my neck. Now I'll just step onto this rock and jump off into the sweet relief of death. Peter, would you mind flattening your rod? Fine, I'll tootsie it between my thighs. Yeah, yeah okay, whatever gets it away from my daughter's face. Are you eating an apple with a knife? God, that's always so forced. Hold on. We've been here already. Yeah, she's right. That's where I graffitied that rock. We've changed our minds. We're going on record. We're not lost, all right? We're just two dads bonding with our daughters, and getting lost is not part of the plan. All right, nobody panic. We just need to get our bearings. Hey, here comes a hiker. Excuse me, sir. We're lost. Ha! <laughs> then you must be my car keys, right? <laughs> it is so nice to get out of the city and meet friendly people. I'm not helping, Dad, as usual. Well, at least I didn't get us lost. We're not lost. We're just two dads in the woods who love our daughters very, very much. Okay, so maybe it's not the life we chose. Well, you chose it. I didn't. That's for damn sure. Dad, will you help him? Shh, I've been waiting for this. I knew it was fake. Dad, I'm sorry. I didn't... I'm not Dad. I'm Quagmire. Glenn Quagmire. Giggity f***. Giggity! I don't want to be out here. I hate camping. And what the hell was the theme of that stupid prom? All the cups said, oh, what a night. I mean, if it was, oh, what a night with a K, that would have made some sense, because there was a suit of armor there. What was that about? Answer me! I... I think it's possible to overthink these things. Ugh, what a mishmash. Damn it, I just want to be home. Not here, lost in the woods, looking at this stupid map with a magnifying glass. Ah! <laughs> What are we gonna do? I don't know. Help! Dear God, someone help us! You know when this would never happen? If I was sitting on the couch watching TV, ignoring you completely. Courtney, I'm sorry for what I said earlier. You mean when you completely ripped my school dance theme? No, I, no, there was no theme to rip. That's the point. I stand by all of that. If anything, I'm more angry. No, I'm, I'm talking about being your father before I was ready. I promise, if we make it out of here, we can start again. Deal? Deal. Nine Eleven! Blossom Strong! Oh, it's Smitty! We're saving! But we should warn the birds the fire's coming. coming. All right, stay calm. Grab the pictures, I'll get your mother's ashes.